everyone i'm a big blaze and in this video i'll give you the best tips for pushing corruption on detonating arrow marksman after 90 plus hours on this marksman i'm sure that this is the best build in the game but what i love the most in this build is that sometimes your best defense is your offense let's start the first key to success in this build is to have enough mana to spam explosive traps. This is your way to destroy every map with ease. A good mana regen can be between 12 and 13. The best modifier that you can use is tier 7 of reduced mana cost throwing skill on rings. Another good modifier is mana gain on potion use on your belt. Try and get increased mana regen as well. The second thing about mana you should know is that on your gel cores, you must have a total of minus 8 mana cost for detonating skill. You basically make your detonating arrow cost no mana so you, so you can keep decimate everything. The second thing with this build is word or no word. This build can go both ways but there is some limitation that I'll talk about. I tried both ways and honestly, I like the no word build a lot more. On eye corruption, I feel a lot tankier without word. I have eye armor and eye endurance threshold to smooth the damage taken. On top of that, Core of the Mountain body armor gives you an immunity for 3 seconds after being hit to increase your survivability. If you have gel cores blast knife with 3 LP or more, you can use the suffix L gain on melee it to increase your health region. Keep in mind that no matter how much defense you will have, once in a while you will get one shot. But it's part of the game of eye corruption and there is nothing you can do about it. If you decide to go with ward, be ready for some serious grind. The gloves and boots dropped from a specific boss and you cannot use prophecies to increase drop rate. On top of that, it's harder to get 2 LP of those items and especially with the correct modifiers. If you can reach 10k plus ward, it might be better than the no ward build. Make sure you stack cold resist to increase ward retention. Keep in mind that with low life ward, your mana management is a lot better thanks to the swift recovery node on the shift tree. Another tip that you should care about is movement speed. Usually movement speed is only quality of life prefix to make faster mapping. But believe me when I say it, movement speed is one of the best prefix to dodge abilities and stay alive. I learned it the hard way. Keep in mind that if you have ward build, your movement speed is a lot better than the no ward build. The next tip is by far the best tip I can give you for pushing corruption. Prepare gear for boss fights with a lot of offensive power. At some point on boss fights, you will feel that you don't have enough defensive to survive. At this point, you will understand that on this build, your best defense is your offense. This tip works best on fight luck or robbies when you need to nuke him fast. On eye corruption you cannot really tank him so it must die fast. For me this do or die situation is the best. Doing this fight for 2, 3, even 4 minutes is boring and annoying. Few good modifiers for your offensive gear are increased throwing attack speed increased lightning damage, crit multiplier, and increased damage while wielding a dagger. The next two bonus tips will definitely save you some deaths, so pay attention. The first tip is to watch out from the frost tigers and the weird looking bats. The bats do insane amount of damage, so make sure you don't get hit by them. The Frost Tiger leaves a nasty stacking dot that you should watch out for and remove if you can. This leads me to the second tip, use shift wisely. Shift is the best way to dodge from incoming damage and it's your 
only way to remove negative ailments. Make sure you don't use it carelessly cause on eye corruption you will need it for defensive purposes. You can find all my planners in the description if you want to check it out. If you have more tips let me know in the comments and of course if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot. I recently started streaming on Twitch I'll appreciate the follow. I usually stream Last Epoch, Diablo 4 and World of Warcraft. Thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of the video, peace.